Well, we're back down the field, a little bit gutted. Right now, I should be at the casting event. Um, I got up this morning, got ready to go, had a phone call from a family member that really needed my help. So I've gone to help him. By the time I got back home, it was going for around half eight, nine o'clock, and I thought it's going to be a two hour drive up there. It's a two hour drive back. I thought there's just no point. I've already lost half of the day, I suppose. So I cancelled it. But I've decided to come in the field and have another play. Stop talking about all that anyway. Same setup as the other video, the, the first casting session. This is the second, not been out since. Um, there's a few people that have commented on the casting. Um, a couple have said I'm collapsing my right arm. There's comments about my stance. There was comments about the way I turn. Well, I say comments, I've had messages and a few comments. Um, someone else has basically said to me how much movement is in the spool left to right. Um, I don't know what you call them, it's called the float, the spool float and you've got this little wheel here to adjust it. What I've done last night, um, I don't know if you want his name mentioned, but I'll mention his name anyway. His name's Stephen Hells. He has been helping me quite a bit uh, through messages. He has got his own YouTube channel. What I'll do, I'll drop a link in my description below with his. I forgot the full name of the channel. It's Over She Goes or something like that. He has got quite a few casting videos and he's, he's good at his casting. Um, basically what I've done on the preset, that you can hear this, That's two, that was all I did. I backed it off two clicks and there's a tiny little bit more movement there. What I'm gonna start doing, cast with a four ounce. I'm doing off the ground straight away, not messing about. Leave the mags on full with this adjustment and I'm gonna see what happens. When I was casting on my video, I think I'm collapsing my right arm and basically punching it over the top of my head rather than bringing it around and then over. So I'm going to try and concentrate on not collapsing my right arm and we'll see what difference this has made. If we can beat the 125, I'm buzzing. Um, there's been a few comments asking about the real cam setup. That is literally all it is. It's a GoPro 8 on a cheap few quid clamp mount. Um, it seems to be working okay. It's not perfect, but it gives you an idea of what's going on down here. And well, as you can see, all my screens on my GoPros are smashed and stuff from fishing. Um, they get battered. So, um, yeah, anyway, stop waffling, we'll get casting. Don't want to be talking too much crap. I want to flick this lead. It's very addictive. I want to cast constantly. I don't know what's happened to me. <laughs> Let's go and cast it. There's no difference to yesterday. Um, that camera's a bit close to the reel, which I'm going to switch on now. Um, sort this shock leader out. It's all a bit twisted. Basically, I'm just going to off the ground here. Same sort of drop, roughly down to that eye. Um, I'm just going to hit it. Um, that direction. Bit cleaner ground behind me, yeah. So we'll see. The mags are on full. The preset there is off. I don't know if you'll hear this clicking. There was a little bit more play there, so hopefully when I chuck it now it down bird's nest. We will see. And I try. I'm not gonna hit it with a full power, but I'm gonna try not to collapse this right arm. I'm going to try not to collapse my right arm. So I can get around behind me more. That was another thing that was said. Basically, you want more rotation. And you can even step into the cast, but that's probably getting quite advanced for me being so new. But we'll, we'll see now. So basically, I'm going to be standing here. I'm going to curl and hit it towards that windmill. That's the plan. I'm not going to put loads of power into this. It's just I want to turn and try not to collapse my arm. Just be smooth, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to stand here, like this, and I'm going to turn with it. It's gone over that way somewhere. <laughs> and it's massively overrun. That did not work. See, he's trying to do too much, but it's practicing in it. This reel feels a lot more free. Hopefully, this will come out. It looks like it will. I think I've got it. Yeah, I've got it. So yeah, first fail. <laughs> There's gonna be quite a few of them. I got a feeling this camera's too close. I haven't got room for my hand. Right, we'll try again without doing too much turning and stuff. Just like I was yesterday, but that spool feels a lot more free to me since I've done that two clicks. 
a lot more free, to be honest. Not making it too complicated. That feels way better. I think I did keep my right arm more straight then. That's gone out just as far as yesterday. I can just about see that first line. And there was hardly any power in there. The first line on the spoiler one about. Oh yeah. The lead sunk into the grass. I have to walk down with a rod. Um, what I've done, I've put the six ounce on. The other two tennis ball things have gone. So, same cast again, off the ground. I'm just gonna keep chucking a few. Try and get used to the position. I don't know. Yeah, that feels about right there. I need to make sure I keep this, my left arm up, rod tip down. I keep putting it too low. I need it up there. I am thumbing them and slowing them down a bit. Reason why, I can see how it's flying. I'm not worried about distance at the moment, just the technique of hitting it. But that went out all right. It has gone a little bit left. But yeah, that adjustment that Stephen Hells told me to do on the reel with this and let the spool off a little bit more, a little bit more play, does seem to be making a big difference. There's literally no power in these casts at all. And the mags are on all the way. So yeah, thank you for that advice. Try and do with this one. Same as what I've been doing. Just put more power into it, if I can. Too low. Yeah, that's way too low. I wasn't looking up when I did it. I was looking at the trees and it's actually gone towards the trees. I noticed as soon as I did it. That, I could feel that more in my right arm, keeping it out. It felt heavy. I don't know if I can explain it. That's a really odd sensation then. The rod felt really heavy. Like, it felt like someone was pulling it that way. That was really weird. Bit of a longer drop. We've got about the same drop. What I'm going to try and do is put more power into this. Do you know what I'll actually try and do? I'll just do it as hard as I can. See what happens. Check the mag actually. Yeah, that mag was off about six clicks then. Only you forgot, that would have gone wrong. Right, that's a good position there. Mag's on. Everything's ready. I've also been told to have my feet at 12 and three. I want to cast towards that windmill. So, check this behind me. be smoother there we go trying to yeah it's good though that's not bad that's gone well over 100 I can tell by looking on the side of the spool that's probably my best cast so far well, I've just paced that cast. It's my furthest, 138 yards paced. I also measured it on Google Maps. Scott Harris West Wales Fishing said you could try using Google Maps to measure the distance. And that come out as 140 yards. Paced is 138, so I'll go with 138. So, bit out of puff. Um, yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. Just gonna keep going now and going and going. Um, cast feeling a lot better. Keeping my uh, right arm straight. Also, tennis ball's dead. They're all dead. <laughs> It doesn't work. It, it's good when they do work, but as you can see, it's just blown straight through the bottom of them. So, lead only. So it just means I have to keep walking down to wind it in. To be fair, that is actually better. Um, 
I can keep tension on it, a nice tension with a slight bend in the rod and lay the line on and just a steady walk down and then pace it and measure it at the same time. Um, what I might start doing is just using the Google Maps if it seems pretty accurate. So I can just walk down, get my lead, measure the distance from where I am with my lead back to this point because I've saved the casting point just behind me on the maps. Um, it's pretty accurate, it's done by GPS so it is going to be out by a few yards but it's close enough. I'm not in a tournament, I'm just trying to improve which slowly does seem to be improving. What I'm going to do now, stand here, I keep banging casts out. Um, I'm not going to keep talking on camera, it'll probably just be a clip of a cast to another cast to another cast to another cast. Um, you lot can see my form, I may have a pause, have a little chat. My phone's going off again like it always does, it never stops. Um, yeah, we'll have a little chat in between, tell you how it's feeling, tell you what I'm doing, you can see anyway. But yeah, seems good. Um, a few more pointers I've had is keeping the rod high, um, turning into the cast, stepping into the cast, I think. I did try it on my first one. It's a bit, I wouldn't say too advanced, but I suppose it is too advanced for someone like me trying to get used to the technique. Um, I think the, the idea behind it is when you're turning, use your body as a spring lock rotation. That's what I think. So you've got it behind you. You want to swing with the rod further and then hit it. It's going to get more compression into the rod and chuck the lead further. And I also think turning faster. I'm not going to attempt that now because it's probably just all going to go wrong. I'm still trying to get used to having my arms in the right positions and stuff on my feet. But I suppose that could be the next progression. Try and turn quicker with it. Try and get more compression in that rod. So, yeah. We'll chuck a few more now again and just get into it and get used to it. I'll have the real cam on. I'll have this camera on. Won't be talking much, just want to start getting the casting done. Obviously, you lose casting time talking on camera, so I'm wasting my practice. But um, yeah, we'll just start casting there like crazy. Um, till it either bird's nest or till something goes wrong. Um, I've also got the six ounce on. Um, the 138 yards is with the six ounce. I may go back to the four now because my tennis ball's gone anyway. Yeah, I probably will stick the four back on. I think it's easier to get the technique. So yeah, we'll swap them back and get casting again. We've got the four ounce lead on, uh, no tennis ball, so I'm going to have to be walking backwards and forwards. Now, I'm just going to start chucking it a lot. Keep casting, try and get a bit more distance out of it. Mags are off three clicks. Um, got a bit of play in the spool as, as earlier. I'm just going to cast it and see. This, good bird's nest. It does actually feel different without a tennis ball on it. I lost sight of the lead, but that's my furthest cast, definitely. You can see it's fluffed off a bit on the real cam. Uh, it is running a bit freer now. I've got three clicks off the mag. Um, I've took a bit more clicks off the spool, so there's a bit more play. But yeah, this is, it's not going too bad, to be honest. Before, this was just like a massive, huge bird's nest. That's only overrun. I was just a bit slow getting my thumb on the spool. But I'll make sure they're all out. Well, I've just hit 152 yards. Um, that last cast, it did go a little bit left. It wasn't too far off that tree. But yeah, I've measured it on Google Maps. That was saying 154. My feet are saying 152. So I'll go off my feet. Um, obviously one day when I'm on a casting field, that'll be a true measurement. This is accurate. Uh, this is not accurate, I should say, sorry. It's just roughly, but yeah. I'm measuring it the same every single time, so it's improving either way. It may not be 152, it could be a bit less, it could be a little bit more, who knows. But yeah, the last one did fly, but it did go quite left. I'm going to carry on casting now and see. I have just had to put a new shock leader on. The shock leader had quite a few knots in it. it must be where it's landing or something, I don't know, with a tennis ball and it was bouncing. I didn't notice the knots till just now, so I've replaced it all. Don't want any knots in there, don't want any weak, li like weak links, it's dangerous. Let's carry on. I've done four clicks on the mag, we'll see. Um, I'm going to try and give this power, um, just see what happens. This could bird's nest, we'll have to have a, we'll have a see. Now I've got to over the 150 barrier, I want over 160. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's never going to end, is it? Woohoo! 
Ooh, that flew out. It's hard to say on the spool, but it just went and went and went. Um, I'm going to walk down and pace it out and then measure it again. Well, that cast went 157 yards, so technically it's my PB. Um, yeah, like I keep saying, it's paced, it's not accurate at all. Uh, Google Maps is saying 161 yards, or no, 164 yards, Google Maps says. My feet say 157, so we'll go with what my feet said. Um, it seems the further I go, Google Maps is uh, further than me, if that makes sense. But we're not worried about that anyway. I'm just trying to get the technique down. I don't know if my technique's good. This video, you can see what I'm doing. If anyone can see anything that they think I can improve on, please, please, please drop it in the comments. I'm not going to be offended by criticism, good or bad. Please, it's going to help. I re would really appreciate it. Um, I think I'm keeping my right arm straight. The rod feels heavy when it's coming around now. It wasn't doing that yesterday. Uh, maybe I'm getting a little bit more compression in it. Maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, it seems good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this video off now. This can be part two sort of thing. Uh, session two, if you want to call it that. I hope you're going to enjoy the series. My plan is potentially do a weekly video just to keep me in touch with, in touch with the rod. Um, I may do some casting without camera, I don't know yet, we'll see. Um, it's a lot of kit here to do this and I'm not concentrating on the casting as much. But at the same time, I want, you, I want you to see my progress, where I'm making mistakes, where I'm not making mistakes. So yeah, I'm going to keep casting now. I will use the real cam in case I get some decent casts in. Um, try and keep these videos 10 minutes max. Nobody wants to sit there watching a 20-25 minute video of me casting. They're just not going to want to watch that. It's going to be boring. So try and keep them shorter and sweeter i will try and do a weekly upload there's no promises but i will try and that's it i hope you're going to enjoy the series if you are enjoying the series so far please consider subscribing give the video a like share it with your casting friends or anyone else your casting friends may find this very funny but i'm putting myself out there for criticism i want people to criticize what i'm doing give me advice give me pointers i will try it if it works it works if it doesn't i'll stop using it but i will definitely give it a go thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one